Full Stop TV, I'm at Bosch's headquarters in Denham and I'm going to show you this one, it's a quarter inch router, it's the Golf 900CE, it's a, a very versatile machine as Eric from Bosch is just about to show us. Hello again, this is the GOF 900CE professional router from Bosch, um, it's a 900 watt motor uh, with variable speed which is uh, controllable on the front with this dial and there's a, a guide above here that gives you indications of how many RPM approximately you, you have at the various settings. Uh, it has constant electronics which means any of those speeds selected will be maintained uh, by an electronic system that acts a little bit like cruise control on your car so the selected speed is maintained in, even under quite heavy loads. Uh, quite a versatile tool, it's a plunge router of course uh, the plunge release lever is on the back here, just bringing it round to show you now and that's operated, it's a spring loaded so when the, uh, the router is plunged you simply let go and the spring tension uh, locks the router at the required depth and some routers don't have a spring on there, I think it's a matter of uh, personal preference but I know people that have used these for years now, these machines, and they really like the fact that you can just let go of the lever and it automatically locks the, the depth for you also on this machine you can see if I just turn it once more um, we do have a fine depth adjustment and rather uniquely that works at any depth setting so if you have the, the router set to a specific depth and you want to make fine adjustments you, you first of all turn this dial so that the zero is lined up with the cursor and then by simply turning the uh, knob on top there to the right or to the left each marking each little um, position there represents one tenth of one millimeter so it's very very fine adjustment so if you're really trying to get those dovetail joints tight or removing um, just the right amount of, of material you can really fine tune the, the, uh, the motor up and down and, uh, and, and get the cutting depth really precisely set. Uh, the uh, basic depth setting of course is on the side here uh, with the familiar uh, sliding rod and, and this of course can be set to your, to your zero mark and when we've got the cutter fitted of course and then just lifted simply uh, up to the depth for example 10 millimeters to give you your, your difference um, on the cutting depth. So quite conventional but uh, again quite easy to use, quite easy to see uh, what you're doing with that. So let me point out then something about the base of the machine because plunge routers are quite common and uh, to, uh, to some extent are, are quite similar to one another but uh, one of the tasks you might want to do with a router is to follow a template um, maybe you're using a hinge jig for example um, or some other kind of a template which allows the router to copy a particular shape very precisely on a repetitive basis uh, for that function you do need things like these uh, copying sleeves is the American term I believe but we uh, call them template guides and these are a little bit unusual to, to what you see out there in the market normally. Uh, those are normally attached to the power tool by means of uh, a screw and a nut and a little anti-shake washer so it's actually quite fiddly to change these for different diameters that you need for um, different templates but uh, what we've had on our tools for quite some time is this template guide fitting system, you could call it SDS. So here's a 30 mil template guide. It's the sort of thing that might be used with larger routers for um, worktop jig use. But just to show you how it's fitted, you have a lever on, on the top side, just, just below the motor. So I'm pointing to it there, there's a little uh, lever there which releases the bayonet fitting, that's the one. And so by um, pulling that lever, or pushing that lever from where I am now down, you can simply insert the template guide and, and it's ready to go. There's no more complicated than that. No screws and washers and, and little uh, bolts to mess around with. Uh, to re replace it, obviously, you just, again, push the button. Template guide comes out. You can put a small one in, for example, and it's ready to go. Other than that, very conventional machine. Okay, it's available in 110 and 240. And don't forget that Bosch Blue Tools all come with a full three-year warranty. <laughs>